Welcome back, Rankers. I'm in Canberra today at the Australian in Information Industry Association uh, Cloud Strategy Conference for 2012. So if you're here today, look me up. I'm the guy with the Chrome Dome. And uh, if you're at the Galar Dinner tonight, I'd love to have a chat there too. This week, we're going to go back to site reviews. We did a webinar last week with GoToWebinar. And we talked a lot about video and those sorts of things. And someone from there, Dorothy, hi Dorothy, said that she would like us to review her site for SEO. So we're going to. This is developmentdynamics.com.au. Now the first thing that strikes me here, Dorothy, not even from an SEO perspective, but purely from a usability, navigability, call to action type perspective, is that there's no clear direction here for me. I don't know what I'm meant to do when I hit this page. You might say, well, Jim, you're an idiot. And I'd say, hey, that's a bit harsh. But what I mean is, is that what are you trying to get people to do here? Are you wanting them to give you a call? Do you want them to fill out a form? How are you using this site? One of the things that I would recommend that you do is get a phone number up here. Right now, it's right down the bottom here in black on a gray background. Uh, incidentally, I would lose this powered by stores online. I know that's the vendor who probably provided the site for you, um, but I'd get rid of it. And you know, if, you, if you've got a form up here, get a form up here as well, just to say, give us your details. What you're trying to do is you've got four, probably less than half a second these days, to get someone's attention. And this site isn't gonna do it. Welcome to Development Dynamics. Yeah, you know, someone said to me the other day, and, and I don't mean to be rude, although that's usually the thing people say just before they're being rude. They said, you know, 2004 called and they wanted their website back. This is design that isn't great for usability for, for someone to interact with. First of all, this development dynamics does nothing for the user, but I'm, I'm gonna get on to the SEO, because these, these are the least of your problems. So if we go and turn on our SEO for Firefox, and for those of you who keep asking, what's this tool I use for finding out these uh, different SEO components on a page easily? It's called SEO for Firefox by Aaron Wall. Go to seobook.com forward slash tools to get that. And what I'm looking for here is elements that are SEO friendly to the site. And quite frankly, we're not finding any. So I haven't even looked at the keywords yet, but we'll get to that. So basically, I've got no heading tags on this page, and this is the this is the front door of the site. Uh, internal links, it's saying, okay, we've got about 20 uh, external links. There's one, and that external link is going off to this stores on, on, online. The Let's have a look at the keywords now. Now, workplace training and development, I don't know if that's a great key phrase or not for you, but I would say for your site, and what we're looking at here is specific, you know, Cert for courses, uh, coaching and, and mentoring. Let's go and have a look at that. Yeah, nothing too specific about a um, uh, a course. But what we see here is is typical. Uh, we, you, you need to be more targeted in your headings on, on the pages. Coaching and mentoring. Uh, people are going to be looking for. Uh, uh, mentoring services Bentley. Okay, they're not gonna be looking for coaching and mentoring. If they are, they're gonna be very much in the early stages of their selection process. And that's not where you wanna capture them. You wanna see that person when they're about to hand over their details where they go, look, I know I need a mentoring coach who's had experience in the manufacturing industry in Australia. That's the sort of uh, person at, the, at that level of decision making that you want. Okay, so we know that we haven't got great signposted keywords here, workplace training and development, not a lot of uh, specificity on the actual words themselves and what they should be. And I'm just gonna have a quick look at the code. But look, as I say, that one, that's also the least of your problems. You've got bigger problems, sorry. Uh, let's go and have a look at some links that I generated earlier. We put a spider over your site, don't worry, it's gone now. And what we found was, is that it found 25 links. Now, when I talk about focus of keywords, what we're looking at here is, this is good here. What you see here, these are the actual web pages, the actual URLs. 
Well, what I'm saying is good here is that you've got keywords, good words actually in the URL. That's a good thing to do. But where it falls down is that the link text in the majority of your links on your site uh, really just actually have an image. They don't have any text. So Google actually doesn't know terribly much what those links are about it, by the links themselves. You need to be able to do very specific link targeting with your keywords in them. And this shows you that, you know, we've got these, this is, this is the main menu. So this is the menu, this thing here, that our, our spider has, has found. And even though you can say, well, I've got words in there. But see that, I can drag it like that. That means it's a, it's a graphic. It's not actually words. Words to you and I, but not to the Googlebot. So once you decide on the right key phrases and who specifically you're trying to target, and you've got to get, and this is all about uh, marketing. Is it HR managers you're trying to target? Is it business owners? And what sort of words are they typing into Google? And for those of you who haven't seen that before, go to Google Insights for Search to find that. But, you know, this, this linking issue over here, really, it's the only to your problems. You've got a bigger one again. So stay with me. Sorry, people. We did ask you if you wanted this made public, so hopefully it's helpful for you. I don't mean to be rude, but there's some issues here. If we go and do the search site, colon, developmentdynamics.com.au, we're getting 43 pages, uh, 43 results. That means Google thinks there's... 43 pages out there. Well, you know, with our own crawler, we could only find 25. So what's Google picking up that we're not? Well, it turns out stuff that you probably don't want it to, like this page called Category, which basically has nothing in it as the menu. And the reason why you don't want Google to pick this number Number one, you, you don't want your users going to a page like this, right? They're going to think it's a virtual ghost town and they're going to leave. So, how did Google pick this up? It's, there's a number of ways that it could have picked it up from internal crawling of the site itself through to someone may have linked to that particular page for some reason at some point in the distant past and, and now the, the page is like that. But there's more of them, you know, you've got, you've got a bunch of pages like that in the Google index. I would suggest probably about half or 50% of the site is pretty much empty pages. And the reason that's a bad thing is because we've talked about the users, but Google doesn't get a sense of what the site's about and feels that the site won't be relevant to users because it has a lot of uh, empty content and it doesn't want to send its users to that site because it's going to give them a bad experience. And what Google's trying to do all the time is give its users a good experience. And that is it for today's show. Hopefully that's helpful, Dorothy. Hopefully it wasn't too painful. But hey, I'm just trying to help. See you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.